Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. Today it's time for Castle Sol, I think. So let's go there. And after Castle Sol, I think I will finally visit the north part of Kaled. Well, the northern part here. And after that, probably. Probably the the lake of rot over here. So this will this will be the roadmap, so to speak, for the next few episodes. I don't want to burn the earth tree quite yet. I could technically get rid of the um, fire giant. I just don't want to burn the earth tree quite yet. So, let's start with Castle Soul then. Let's see how much time it takes to go through Castle Soul. There are quite a few strong enemies in here. And it starts off with this one, and there's a second one here. No, oh, that shouldn't work. Nope. Yeah, I need to retreat because of the ice here that deals so much damage. And they're programmed to constantly jump out of the way. But they can't leave this area, so... So you could technically use this to your advantage. But you need def uh, you need to get away from the ice, from the ice breath. Okay, can stagger them with every attack. Uh, maybe not with every attack. Ice breath. Stay away from that. That deals a lot of damage and you don't want to get frostbitten. Because then you take more damage. And more damage is never good. Okay, now the second one spawned. Or jumped in. I think. Wasn't that a sound of someone roaring? I think I can hear the second one's chains rattling there. That's why I don't want to enter this area. That's the second one. Oh shit. Ooh, good that they start on the other side. Oh, it even throws you over. Oh, lingering area. Ooh. That's why it's dangerous. The good thing is that I can just stay here. Wait. Huh. That's one. For the second one. Need to get out of the way. I'm calling some help. And now I don't need to be afraid of a second one because one already is dead. Line Guardians are always something 
special. Let's call it special. <laughs> Again, uh, I don't... They feel weird. They feel like very weird en enemies. Um, I think I've told it already in... Oh, he can upgrade my flasks. That's nice. Let me get that upgrade. Oh, it's plus 12. Is that the maximum? I'm trying to remember. I think that's the maximum. Um... The thing with the Lion Guardians is, because the game is capped at 60 frames, their animations feel not as fluid. Well, it's not helping that they move at a very high speed. Uh, their attacks are very fast. And because of that, to me, it, f it, it looks like they're missing a few frames here and there, right? Probably because of the speed. Um, I want to do actually because this bird is dangerous. I want to get as much damage in as possible. Biggest threat gone. Ah, technically the second biggest threat in this area. The highest threat, in my opinion, is. Wait, where does it. Uh, the highest threat in this area is. I think over there. Not on this part of the building, but even further uh, behind. Um, oh, this is, hmm, hmm, yeah, that's not where I wanted to be, whoops, first of all, I want to go to the dead end, oh, yeah, you need to destroy that, good job. Oh, that was a sick dodge. I like that. Next one, please. Come down. Just as the other one. Just minus the dodge, please. That's nice. Alright. Now... Oh. Hey, where are the snails here? Come on. Just die for me, please. Nascent butterfly, again in the form of a purple glow, purple soul item, whatever. Not nice. I much prefer the butterflies when they are flying in the air. Then I know what to expect. I'm not like, ooh, is this a good item? No, it's not. It's a nascent butterfly. Or a Ateria leaf. And shit like that. Stuff you don't want to see in a purple glowing item. So who's, who's throwing these firebombs at me? You. You can, you can stop that place or we can just trade like this. Because I like this trade. The straight means I'm taking no damage. Upcoming area or upcoming part is evil. You see this dude behind the triple ballista? And then there's this item. Or you can do it this way. Or you can just rush him. If you have no ranged weapon that can reach him. Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> Pull out your own crossbow. Great. Good job. Um, sometimes you don't see this one. Sometimes this one is invisible. Um, I'm not really sure if you can hit them when they're not visible. But you can try. You can certainly try. But... Come on, jump. Uh, but I still don't know. Doesn't really matter, does it? So here... You know where this bird was? Over there, there's an item. But... If you grab this item now, there is no way of getting up here. Which... Uh, shouldn't be that... Um, important, because, well, there's only this one item here, and then this door. Now you have a shortcut. Um, this is not a shortcut, because you're already at the end of, of this path. But now the map is a little bit more open, which I appreciate. But you basically have to open this door. Or not have to, but I would advise you to grab the item first. Uh, the painting, I mean. And then grab this one. This should be an axe. Like the... A second version of the Stormhawk axe, I think. Yeah, there we go. I can just jump down here and continue this path. And this is already half of Castle Soul. This is the... Well... The next stop is a set of grace. Before that... You quickly have to deal with this dude, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, just tank one of their hits. So I want to fight him here on my nice and plain ground. And for some reason I'm not dodging. Come on! Uh. Need to get into it a little bit more. Ah, oh, that wasn't good. Come on, stop teleporting. Good thing about the shield attacks is you can simply backstep them. This one compared to the dual sword version is fairly easy to parry. I'm for some reason just a bit rusty right now, but that shouldn't hinder me all that much. Let me quickly grab the Eclipse Hotel over here. Pretty nice weapon. Sadly, the effect isn't working on NPCs. That's the only sad part about this weapon. Um, if you buff this weapon, it would, or it actually does, it deals, um, Death Blight. But the problem with Death Blight is that there is no NPC except a few, um, invader NPCs, like player character NPCs. Are susceptible to death blight. That's the sad part about this. Like these enemies I'm fighting right now, they won't get killed by death blight. It's not working on them. Why do I get the vanishing sound? Why does it come from this out of this direction when I killed this and the one up here? That's weird. So I'm jumping to this area now to grab this item over here because I'm fairly certain, like, I think it is technically possible to, to jump around this corner, but I don't know how, like, uh, I, it has to do something with attacking while jump, uh, I, I don't know. Well, 
<laughs> that was a terrible try. But I can simply just walk around, or technically I could teleport to the side of Grace. That doesn't matter. But the upcoming part is going to be the hard part. Well, a, a upcoming enemy is going to be the hard part. I'm of course talking about the dual wield um, Banished Knight. Ghost? I don't know. Are these ghosts? And the problem with them is that they have a very aggressive moveset. So now I have to, now I have to think, do I want to go to that part? And I think the answer is yes. Or do I want to... I think I want to approach him. I don't try and shoot him. Don't. trying to parry him. Fuck. Ooh, not the... S yeah. Not the ice attack. Ooh. I think I'm going to continue trying that. Uh, the parry. I want to parry this one. Because I think I've never successfully parried an attack of these of this enemy type. And I wanted to. I wanna learn that. And this now is my best opportunity for that. So excuse me if I'm going to die here a few more times. I just don't know how to help myself. Maybe I should use the flask here. No downside. The thing is when you approach him, when well, the thing is when I approach him, I want to pick up this one here. Oh, okay, first back step. I don't know, do I want to parry him? Would be a good idea to try. Oh, can you even parry the the ice attack? Can you even do that? You can definitely parry that one. Oh. Yep. There we go. Normal attack. That is doable. But I don't think I can parry this one. Can certainly dodge it. No need to spam it. That's not nice. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. I was continuously trying there. Oh well. I wish this one. Would have been a bit closer to the side of Grace. Okay, I think I'm trying to kill him now instead of parrying his attacks. Uh, this run is starting to annoy me. I I don't like running back and forth. If it would have been right here at the beginning, no problem. I would have learned his moveset. Oh, that was rude. I would have learned his moveset now. I mean, I somewhat know the moveset, but I'm still bad at reacting to it. I uh, definitely won't use this, but now I'm trying to kill him. Just, I, I don't care about dodging anything. Quickly grab that. Let him do his spinnies. Why can't I dodge this one? Yeah, the normal attacks are easy to hit, or are easy to parry. Ah, that was rude. Oh, 
shit. Here. Ah. Yeah, I'm stuck here. Great. Oh, thank you for... Fuck off. No. No, just... No, 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 no. I'm not dying here again. You wanted to pin some me there. In the corner. Can you even destroy the... Is the material in there so... Hard frozen that you can't even smash them with a weapon? Man, that was... that was too close. Right, um, let me activate another rune arc here. Alright, now this part. This one has no item. That is good. It means I don't need to kill him. Nothing to drop down to here, nothing to drop down to here. Well, technically I could have done this area. Climb up here. Like, drop down, open the door, kill all the rats in there, and then jump over here. Ah, doesn't matter. It's red time. Great. Well, oh, this one is open. Right. Ah, I'm forgetting. Can you? This is the light attack. Ah. Nope. This one. Okay. That's a bit better. Yeah. Okay. This is how I can actually hit the reds. I could have just dropped down here. Nah. Nah, that's not a good idea. This is open. So I don't need need to do anything here anymore. I can just port back. That's good. Save some time. Already wasted enough time here with uh, with the dude and me trying to parry him. Alright, this area here now. Oh, one more. Okay. Get rid of the hanging dudes. Oh, three. Oh. I got teleported in that attack. That's unfortunate. Alright, let me heal up. That's good. Any item in here? Do I hear a bird? Where am I right now? Is there a bird over here? Huh. Okay. I don't want to trigger these guys. Because if they scream, they will spawn a lot of ghosts here. And I don't want to deal with that. But if you take them out with ranged attacks, they won't. Now it's time for a boss fight. And you can make this boss fight a lot easier for yourself if you're using the Bewitching Branch. First, drink the flask. Go through. Don't summon your buddy. Rush towards him. Attack this one. Uh, let me... Let's wait a little bit. Ah. Oh 
shit. Oh, it worked. Nice. So it's a small lingering effect. Oh, that's... okay. Thought he wanted to poke me. Let me get rid of this one. What? That was weird. Rot incoming. He's not rotting. Or is he? Oh, probably can't be. Wait, oh no, he is. Okay. Fairly easy, especially if you're charming the dual swords one, the one on the right, and this boss fight becomes fairly trivial. I just, I just hope there is no item here. I can directly go up without missing anything. Um. I also definitely want to do the death root hunt before entering or before burning the earth tree so that Gurang isn't vanishing. But Mikula, forgive me, the sun has not been swallowed, our prayers were lacking. A comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Harlic tree. But it is down there, you can literally see it. Like... Well... Oh well, so that was Castle Sol. Now what? Now I think it's time to go to Kaled. And I want to go to the... Dragon Barrow West, I think, yeah. And then quickly grab the map. So let's do this. And then I know, oh, I know, I know what to do. I want to know what to do next. Over here on the hill is another merchant and if you go there by night you will find the bell bearing hunter again and this bell bearing hunter is probably not probably this definitely is the strongest bell bearing hunter in the game i think this one deals a tremendous amount of damage. This one is so hard. And I don't I don't even know why. I don't even know why this one is so goddamn hard. I know Caled North is quite the late game area, but come on. It's even stronger than the than the main version in the, in the shaded castle over there. It's a bit ridiculous how strong this one is. But if I'm lucky, I can parry him enough to. Well. Well, there's been a. How can I? What do I want to buy here? I definitely want to buy this. The pot. Uh, the armor set for completion reasons. Enough arrows. And. Yeah, why not? Let's do this too. 
these are poison arrows and I can now put them in here again and I think these are the stronger versions right heavy poison build up heavy poison is the quick ticking poison so that's nice um, does it say how strong the build up is with these darts no it doesn't um, can I craft poison arrows by any chance? I can't. I need to pick up some recipe there. So let me quickly invest one more level in here. 16 intelligence is enough. Um, now I have the problem, right? I've now invested some points into intelligence. Which means I might want to invest more points into strength now. But I, there are two weapons that I want to use, right? Uh, there are two weapons that I want to use. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me quickly slot in some other things. I don't need this one. Let me put in... where is it? This one, the dagger one. And then let me... See, do I need this? I do need this one, or... yeah. Sadly, the Earth Tree Favor plus one isn't enough. This one would be... No Ooh. This is... 89.3. Ooh, 82.7, okay. There's a big difference there. Do I want to use this weapon or do I want to use the Hallbird? Almost doesn't matter. I don't know the resistances. So... Let's wait until nightfall. Merchant's still here. Uh, let me reload the area by teleporting here. See if he's here again. Um, not this way. So the merchant is gone. Drink up and here he is. Get a few hits in. Grab. Dodge the grab. Parry slap. Can't parry that, at least I think. After the second parry you can actually repost. Oh, should have waited there. stay close to him so he's not trying to use his ranged attacks because the ranged attacks are the dangerous ones. The dog in the background is making me nervous. But here we go. Not even a single hit. That was smooth. I couldn't even show you how much damage this one deals. But um, I like it that way a bit more, to be honest. Mm. Where's the stronger one? The stronger one should be. Is it here in Kaled? Might be. Hmm. I don't know. I can think of a few position where positions where it could be. Might be in Kaled, might be somewhere else. I'm thinking of the tower that is here somewhere. Uh, might not be the right one though. Um, this one is the well. No, this one is the well. What is this? This is the tower. 
Is it? No, this is the tower. What is this? I'm marking it. I don't know what it is anymore. Somewhere over there. Huh. I will have a look at that soon enough. So I could approach the tower, but I don't want to do that quite yet. I think the tower starts maybe next episode or something. Like the the tower is definitely one of its own features. No, not of. Uh, what am I talking? Like I'm currently not thinking about what I'm talking. Uh, the tower is supposed to be the start of a video at some point, probably next one. I now want to quickly grab these two items just so that I have them. I know they're nothing important. And these dragons don't even care. That's nice. The big dragon over there is gone. Uh, yes, it should be. I think I've dealt with this one in one of the first episodes. So then, where is this beacon leading me to now? Oh, it's an Everjail, right. I don't even need to kill this one. I say right, like, is this new? Sally Everjail, I honestly never visited this one so this is completely new for me or maybe not completely new I maybe did it with my f in my first run but I honestly don't know which enemy is in here I have no idea oh okay what is this one dropping He's dropping himself. Okay. Well. And. Okay. Interesting. I never. Like maybe I did it once, but. Huh. Is this new? Because honestly, I. I, I <laughs> I didn't know that this was here. Like, I've never... Oh, hey. Like, I've never been here. Maybe once. Or maybe not. Maybe this was now my first time beating this boss, but... I always skip this one, even though it's in plain sight on the map, at least. Or well, it was right now, but... Huh. Well, I just learned something new. I think, maybe not for the first time, but I definitely learned something new for me right now. Because I, I can't imagine that they would patch this in, so it must have been here from the start. I don't think they would patch in a... a Everjail. But I have, no, but I honestly have no recollections of ever doing that one. Oh well. Luckily, this was a very forgettable boss encounter, because it's just one of these stupid as mages. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm just searching for a few items. Is there one down there? By any chance? Ugh. Huh? Oh no, okay, it's a normal one. Oh, 
Oh no, that's too close to the edge for my liking. Maybe not for this one, but... But I don't want to stay so close to the edge. Okay, now, what am I doing now? I should... Have I ever done this one here? I don't remember. But I should go the upper way now. Or at least I want to go the upper way there. Take the upper path. I think from... Should I go from up here? Probably not. I just want to see if there are any items up here. And then, then I'm taking the other path. Or well, at least I'm backtracking a little bit here. Although this way I could have skipped them. Where are you? Okay, good. Um, I want to use the ice version though. The ice weapon. And just in case I'm... I'm equipping this one. Because I might get a Scarlet Rod effect here. That's a possibility. Hello there. Good idea. Ugh, this is the Scarlet Rod attack. With the lingering Scarlet Rod. Not so nice. Another one. And another one. They like to spam these, really. And of course they have this attack. They still did a post-mortem. How nice. Uh, okay, some some crystal tears here. Um, is there something up this hill? Uh, where am I even going? I'm going this way, okay. I don't want to go this way quite yet. First of all, I want to go over here, and then I'm returning from the lower side, I think. Just in search of some items that might be hiding here. There are a lot of guardians here. I don't want to fight them. Just running past them. That was a trap, I think. Poison trap. A dragon down there. Alright. How do I get down here? It appears I have to go to this open field. Uh, let's quickly have a look where I'm... Okay, I'm past this pond over there with the two dragons inside. I don't need to have a look at the map right now. But it's good and I should be... Yeah, this should be the lowest path here. Or maybe not the lowest path. I know that here underneath the bridge, this is also a path. But no, it doesn't start here. I would like to see where it actually starts. Where it splits off, because here it doesn't. Here it splits off, okay. Good to know. Now let's have a look up here. Underneath, if you go the path underneath, there is a cave. At this point, I think. Over there at the... A little bit more open area. There is a cave, actually. Nah. And I don't want to go into that cave. 
And there is a very mean rune bear. Very mean one. I think one of the, if not the strongest rune bear in the game. And to that I say no thank you. At least right now. I I mean dealing with rune bears isn't the hardest thing in the game, but it's definitely up there with my least favorite ones, so I'm trying to avoid it, naturally. I'd rather pick up these ruins over here, if I actually can get my character to get close to them, so I can pick them up. Alright, well said. Just the birds flying away. Alright. Ooh, the Knight's Cavalry is already there, that's nice. You can land on the on the tree. Ooh. Lenny's Rise. Oh nice. Why does every mage have its own why do they all have their own towers? Like at least. By the way, are these not? Hmm, probably not. Or maybe. Let's have a look. Mm, nah. There's probably. Or is it? Cover to tower? No. No, okay. These are the mages. I was thinking, like, maybe these are the mages that are also... Uh, have these stone masks made out of their heads. But apparently not. I know the stone masks um, are made out of not made out of, they're made out of stone and glintstone, but they're modeled after the uh, successful mages from the academy, I think. Or maybe the teachers, one of them. Ugh. Oof. Maybe... Maybe some hammer time? Where's my hammer? Over there. Okay. Ooh, this one is tanky. Ugh, tanky ball of... I don't know. Idiots, I guess. Oh, I know where to get the Graven Mass Talisman or whatever it's called. It's in the it's in the snowfield thingy, right? The, the secret area, so to speak. Wait, what? Oh. That's why I was doing so little damage. <laughs> Can you open now? No. Okay, I think it's broken. Oh. Can't even call torrent here. Why? Okay, then I guess I take this path out. Thank you for not opening. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm getting tired here. That's not good. Alright, now a Knight's Cavalry. Time. Have I killed the dragon on the bridge? No, I haven't. Okay. I think this one is next then. But first, of course, the Knight's Cavalry, and I'm taking the Halberd again, because then I have a ranged option, and also ice. Ice is always nice. Just parry him right, really quickly. 
Ouch. Aww. Call your horse, will ya? Is going for the jump attack, maybe? Oh no, just for the sweep. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this one. And this one. Let me heal up. Come on, one more parry, please. Why is this one not hitting? When I'm staying too close, I'm not... I can't even parry because he's not... Nah. Excuse me, why am I not dodging when I'm trying to dodge? That's weird, okay. Let me stop trying. First time was good enough. I honestly don't know how I did it. Oh, can I? Oh, I cannot ride the horse now. How oh, unfortunate. Platon step. Woo! Nerfed to the death. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass here. I don't actually think it's nerfed to death. Or maybe it is. I didn't like it to begin with, so couldn't care less. Um, now grab the rear one. Um, no, running or sprinting is not jumping. But now let me quickly get off torrent to two-hand this weapon. I don't need this anymore. This was just for the Avatar. That's what they're called. Not Guardian. They're called the Avatars. Oh, I can summon the Mimic tier for this fight. I'm not going to. Because that's actually just a hindrance. Ooh, piece of candy. Hello. Oh, that's rude. You're biting Torrent. I'm hitting your leg then. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's unfortunate. Uh, let me quickly get back. Ooh, that's a bite. That's another bite. Okay, can you stop doing this stupid behavior and start doing your the, the behavior that I can actually counter? Spawn over there, won't you? Ah, oh, Drain's Breath. I'm avoiding this one. How far does it reach? Okay, not that far. Well, it's far enough, but you will de despawn now, right?
Nope. No thank you. How does it reach? Okay. I'm poisoning you. You're not careful. Stop now. That's that's a fairly long range. Oh, he's already poisoned. Oh, how unlucky. Poor him. Oh, come on. Can I actually hit the, hit the ad? Oh my god. Okay. No, you're not throwing me off this time. I'm still not hitting the ad, holy shit. Oh. Avoid this one. Yeah, of course he's going for fire now. What a nice finisher. Yeah, he's finished, okay. I was just saying, would have been very disappointed in... in that circumstance, I guess, if he would have lived there. Alright, um, what's next? I think I'm picking up some items in this area now, and I'm investing into strength. Let's have a look at this area. Um, I'm doing the Black Blade Kindred or whatever it's called another time. I'm not doing this right, right now. I'm hearing you. Where are you? There you are. What do you drop? Can't remember. Upgrade material. How oh, nice. That's why I can't remember it. Um, any more items? Ah, uh, any more items? Maybe a bit further up here? Um... I think the last thing that I will do is being chased by the ball to grab the set of greys in the bear cave. First, trying to grab a few items that might or might not be here. Okay, I'm not getting closer to that thing. As I said, I'm doing the Black Blade Kindred, or Kindred Black Blade, whatever. That one another time. Alright, if you have a if we have a look down here, we can actually see the waterfall. I'm not being approached by... No, okay. Here we can see the big-ass waterfall. Can we see Fermazula? Uh, not really. But the waterfall is actually here, like... Such a weird design. So basically, you can't even invade this area by ship. This is all safe from outside invasions and on top of that of course you can't trade inland like not from here where would you even go because the whole area is just cliffs 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 there are a few beaches in um well technically you can approach here there's a beach over here this might be a good area for a dock but other than that, there are just a, just a handful of beaches here. But that is how 
FromSoft likes to build their games really like secluded from everyone else like everything is shut off you can't enter from the outside something like that really that's how they build the worlds because um, let's start with Dark Souls 1 for example you have basically this big as area like um, Drang, no, what does it called? Lordran, of course. Drang Lake is Dark Souls 2. Uh, you have Lordran on this impossibly high mountain, basically. Um, at least when you when you look down from when you're on the walls, for example, at the wall where the Taurus Demon is, and you look down, you can't see the ground, you just see clouds. So it's impossibly high up. It's just one w one world, basically, right? In a sea of just clouds. There's not even an indicator for other areas, basically. Not visually, at least. Let's quickly see if I can avoid... Oh. I can't avoid the traps. I won't avoid the traps. Let me just get poisoned here. Everything's just trapped. Alright. Where was I? And this game is no different, right? Like Dark Souls 2 was on an island. But apparently in item descriptions you there were actually other areas. And Dark Souls 1 as well, like Astora for example. It's a different area, but you couldn't see it, like... And and the the world... Blah. Wouldn't even try. I hate this. I hate these parts. Holy shit, that scared me. That gives me the creeps, these... Uh, these big boulders stop spawning. Yeah, fuck off, right. Um, Dark Souls 3 uh, looked a bit more open, but also, um, like, well, let's say they're all very, their own words, basically. Like, the whole game is in one area, you're not visiting other faraway areas, except for Dark Souls 2. With the Sunken King, Ivory King, and the uh, fire area there. Iron King, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah. Same with this area here. Everything is like contained on this island, basically. But that was this episode. I'm remembering what... Where do I want to start next episode? What do I want to start with? Do I want to start with the tower? Black Blade Kindred or Black Kindred Blade, whatever it's called. I think I'm starting with the tower, so I'm going over here to the... Um, round Table Hold. I'm starting in the Round Table Hold. And we're going to the tower next. But this is also where I end the episode with this nice fireplace where there is actually a hole in the chimney I'm surprised by that because usually um, I think in Stormbell Castle was it and also other castles where there is a chimney it was always closed off right at this opening now that's nice. At least it looks like an opening. That might be, it might be closed off up there, but you can't actually see it, which is fine. As long as I can can't see it, I'm happy. <laughs> but this was this episode. Uh, I hope you had fun, and that's it from me. Goodbye.